Hello, Gemini energy. How's it going so far? This Aquarius season. I hope everything is well for you. Thank you so much for tuning into this message. I hope it finds you well. Um, it's your girl, Lemon, here back with another video. Okay. And again, this is for Aquarius season. I uh, know I've been gone for a while. Um, I haven't made anything since Sag season, but uh, we're here to um, get into this new 2023 energy here so um gemini um aquarius is a trying energy so um this um energy can make you feel like you don't have to do anything but there definitely is work that can be done that'll actually give you a big boost coming into pisces season which will actually square you so if you do a lot of the work now it'll make it easier going into such a challenging season like pisces season because it is another mutable sign so it squares you okay so um speaking of which um right now mars has gone um direct in your sign so a lot of your frustration or your inability to um focus or get things done should be um uh being uh, alle alleviated um for you um right now we've already moved forward in the ninth degree which is where we had the um I believe the new moon in Gemini last spring um, that set on the Aldebaran star, which is Archangel Michael. Okay, so um, if you are having issues with disconnecting yourself from certain associations that do not serve you, um, I can definitely see this as being um, certain friendships. Um, and certain higher entities that you've been linked to due to watching certain media, certain videos, listening to certain music, and things of that nature. Um, now would be a good time to go ahead and call in Archangel Michael to go ahead and um, relieve you of unnecessary connections or ties from the root. Go ahead and remove it with grace and ease so that you can move forward especially with Mars moving forward in your sign so that you have the clarity that you need to make your head and heart decisions um, as they are being reunited and um, I want to say reunited and it feel, and it feeling so good, okay? So um, it's very important, um, Gemini, that you, yes, allow yourself to keep removing um contracts or information out of your life that just isn't helping you or serving you so that you can have better clarity when you move forward and talk with other with other people okay so for aquarius season we're asking three questions what does your highest self want you to know okay we have the four of wands um how will this message come to you page of cups aries also had this and um what can block it we have the king of pentacles here or the king of coins at the bottom and overall energy is the queen interesting right okay so what does your higher self want you to know number one with that head and heart they're coming together they're being united as one so you need to allow yourself to trust yourself a little bit more especially if you are in the works of removing people or certain energies that just don't um vibrate with you anymore because you're in one philosophical lane and they may be in the other your beliefs may have you know clashed or have come to a crossroads at this time so now you're separating and it's nothing wrong with that you can actually celebrate um what you guys have done or what you have worked on thus far um, in your spiritual journey because the ninth house is about spirituality in itself so there may be certain um deities or certain angel guides or certain um guardians that you've had for a bit of a time um they may be related to the and i got the high priestess here at the bottom they could definitely be related to your mother's line um that it may be ancestors or someone on that side of your family that may have been with you since you were younger um with this being the message of how it will come to you um i feel like they been with you since you were very young but now you're entering into a whole new um spiritual realm where those um angelic protections are kind of like changing shifts with you so um definitely um a great time to start um connecting with 
whatever star system you feel um, vibrating or reson resonating with you at this time. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be based on your actual natal chart. It could just be based on the fact that um, you're looking for um, a higher source of energy of wisdom and it may be something you haven't studied before but um whomever um star system it, it can have to do with the Pallades. that's what i'm getting to um but there is a star system or a certain um wisdom that is looking to connect with you right now at this time so um and it can come to you, um, I feel like it has to do with the new year. It has to do with this specific year that this message is coming to you. And I feel like this message is only for this year. Okay, so there, it is something brand new. It's not something you've done before, but there is something for you to start to dig into. And I feel like you already know what that information is that you need to start learning about. There is a certain part of your background that's going to be exposed the more you allow yourself to just be open to whatever calls to you instead of trying to do something so strategically that you might skip over something you see how he's kind of like the rabbit is going around his foot with the ribbon um don't get yourself caught up in cynical thinking that you only want to stick to you know something that you can you know physically see fire you want to allow yourself to be open to what you actually feel um new that's being open to you because there is a star system in particular i keep seeing palladies that is calling to you they want your attention um they have something for you however what can actually block this is the king of coins even though we got the queen at the bottom and you and these are usually uh, in, um cards that's about things coming together especially with the four of wands here but your divine masculine energy trying to be very well, let's say trying to be very popular um but not trying to be um trying to be very popular or just trying to be so focused on the physical parts this is the same thing i gave taurus too so it could have to do with a taurus don't let a taurus block you don't let things about money or physical assets or the material goods block you don't let sex block you or sexual relationships block you from whatever energy or entity is trying to contact you because they're coming in the highest light they're not coming to disturb you or anything like that they just have a message for you they they really like you and they want to work with you they want to communicate better with you um so you guys can build a relationship and do things um basically they want to be able to utilize your vessel um to get message out they want it's, it's a certain energy that wants to yeah they want to come together with you and um let you be the person to channel their energy specifically they feel like you are a very nurturing energy you are very caring energy um and again we have the high priestess here with the lovers your card at the bottom they feel like you are very equipped to handle the message that is going out so they want to talk to you <laughs> and um network or connect with you and this could be actually a physical person especially with the earth energy here it could be a physical person but they're being sent by someone or an energy that is higher than the third three dimension okay so yes um your advice here is to have faith okay have faith that um this aquarius season is going to be um very good to you it is going to be good to you stop being so focused on trying to acquire the physicality and be the physicality that you um know yourself to be okay that you wish yourself to be that one like you meet no one but you okay so your higher self wants you to know that whoever this person is that's coming to you and whatever star system or energy the background that they have you need to have faith that they actually know what they're doing they know what they're talking about and they're they are here to work with you or to grow with you spiritually or you may be the one that has to um show them something spiritually that they may not know but they're very open and able to read and accept whatever messages you have for them um just because they're new to doing something that you've been very well endowed with doesn't mean that they don't have the capacity to actually get the job done so that's why this can block you only looking at what they do or don't have physically will 
honestly block you from seeing what their true worth is because the person is actually a high priestess they're on your level they're on your level okay so what activation you have the cat's eye here okay this is your activation card goddess bastet okay and a sacred pleasure i melt into, into sacred pleasure taking delight in the sweetness of life and the sensuality of embodiment i am a divine soul grounded in the temple of enlightenment that is my body my joy is an offering of gratitude to the universe which attracts greater blessings that i can share freely with the world triggering a collective awakening into grace i invite the divine to sweeten my life for the greater good of all beings yes so um this could be actually the goddess or the energy that's trying to tap into you because you know cats are in uh, multi-dimensional okay they see things that others can't see and i feel like because um this um may come to you as someone who may be very um new um or wet behind i want to say wet behind the ear they may, may be very wet behind the ears when it comes to um channeling or doing anything to um share spiritual messages they may be very wet behind the ears with it but they the more that they experience the the greater that they actually get so don't let the fact that they may not have a lot of um people backing them physically or you don't see like the numbers you don't see something physical you don't see physical vibrations that match with their abilities and it's on purpose <laughs> it's on purpose to see um like the um like this card the beauty and the beast um are you going to take it at face value or are you going to see past the exterior okay and gemini that's my message for you thank you so much for tuning in i hope this found you well and until next time peace